Then Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. This morning we're going to look at the phrase, take up their cross. What does that mean? Take up your cross. What does it mean to take up your cross? What did Jesus mean by take up your cross? It means that you must be willing to suffer for Jesus. In many instances in our lives, we will be persecuted, we will be slandered, we will be rejected, we will be ostracized, we will be ridiculed, we will be hated because we belong to Jesus, because we follow Jesus. And you must be willing to take up your cross. Right here I have a publication called The Voice of the Martyrs. I subscribe to this. And it tells stories of Christians today that are persecuted physically, put in jail, beaten, sometimes killed. Thank God here in the United States we do not have physical persecution. We should pray for those who are persecuted physically and in many cases even put to death and pray for their families. And, but here in the United States, more and more, our society is turning away from God. Our culture is increasingly secularized and people more and more ostracize true followers of Jesus. More and more we are ridiculed, we are slandered, we are made fun of, we are rejected. More and more we are called in this country to suffer for Jesus in the name of Jesus. Take up your cross means that you will be faithful. And even when you're called upon to suffer for the name of Jesus, you're willing to do it. Take up your cross for Jesus. This is Pastor Mark Wright of Evers Road Christian Church. And this has been one more episode in the series, The Cost of Discipleship.